really simple plan. We were gonna fly to Salt Lake City and then buy a six wheel drive limousine that we knew almost nothing about, drive it all the way home, live in it for a couple days. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> it's three in the morning. We're going to Salt Lake City to pick up this machine. And this is self supported. This is, it's just us and our know how that's going to make this. Machine. And a swindling machine. <laughs> a fan of the show is like, You want to buy this? And we're like, Yep. Sometimes I don't realize how dirty our crew is until we're oh, in public dude, yeah. places. Ooh, the <laughs> amount of dirt I had to pull out of my backpack to feel good about getting on this plane. Look at our pelican case full of all the expensive stuff. <laughs> I think we're importing a little Idaho mud. Oh. And the fob works, all the doors oh, locked. Wow, the fob. amazing. <laughs> That's better than any vehicle I owned until like a few months ago. <laughs> <laughs> it's. It's kind of glorious. I don't really know what to compare it to in length, except like maybe an entire city block. Just very <laughs> giant. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh my god, the interior is like a <laughs> throwback to <laughs> Chuck E. Cheese. There we go. Ta da! <laughs> there she is. Uh, That's, it's just vinyl on top of metal. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> With like a layer of padding in between. I mean, this part's just a regular, yeah, sport excursion. Oh, feel like this. Fish carpeting. No way. This is so sick. <laughs> this is like bigger than my living room yeah. in my house. It honestly is. This is where we're gonna start chilling for lunch breaks. There's even a little theater. I am back. so stoked to go on this adventure. <laughs> it, I mean, we're gonna sleep in here on the way home. Oh, yeah. And there's four bench seats and a <laughs> us, so. Tall boy beds, short boy beds. Yep. <laughs> You're going to the short boy bed. Oh. <laughs> I just told my wife that I'd list it. I didn't think anybody would come. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I like yeah, it's it. like being in an aquarium, Will. It is. Yeah. I really like it in here. And it doesn't look like many rats have been living in here. Most importantly, though, it's not just six tires for looks. It's really it is actually drive. six wheel drive. There are other people out there crazier than us. Oh. The bed, too. It looks like a short bed on here, but it's a nice, nice full size bed. It still has a 7-3 swing, but... <laughs> <laughs> the yeah, yeah, boards are definitely the move. Everything is a lot nicer than I thought. Normally when we buy this kind of thing, it's like... This fully kind of thing? Jinked together. <laughs> I mean, it's got a 7.3 power stroke. It's got six driven wheels, seven drive shafts, Two transfer cases and enough seating for many people. <laughs> the whole what more could you want? This is without question the most absurd thing we've ever bought. Very absurd. And quite possibly the best. It needs some TLC, but only in the parts that don't matter. How does she drive? Honestly, really nice. Like, heck yeah. <laughs> it rides like a boat. Getting used to how it steers is interesting. It's not necessarily bad in any way. It just does not handle like any normal vehicle. It just, it's like it takes a long time for it to react because <laughs> it takes a while for that information to get back to the rear tires. <laughs> like when he floors it, you go sliding down the thing. <laughs> and every bump you hit is like, Boing, boing. This is the coolest thing we've bought in ever. <laughs> it's just amazing. <laughs> Look at where the fuel filler is. It's inside the fender here. That's what you want. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> Oh, 
Fancy <laughs> getting you here. Fancy. What's first? Uh, well, there's a winch right here. Yeah, it should have most of what we might need. 225 piece set. Remember Kip from Napoleon Dynamite? If you get the five piece set. I. You haven't seen Napoleon Dynamite, have you? Seen? I haven't. Neither have I. No. <laughs> you can't be Idahoan and not have <laughs> seen it. <laughs> That's the worst part is that you guys are actually from Idaho. <laughs> A store that has blue shop towels, buy them. You will use them. That is the moral of the story. <laughs> it's like one of those let's go shopping videos. Yeah, we gotta. Yeah. It's like let's. What is it called? Shopping haul? Yeah, shopping haul. It's like a grind hard shopping haul. <laughs> there are actually straps here. Okay, good. <laughs> Foreshadowing. For couple, uh, couple of 20 foot straps. Everything. <laughs> we need to take the whole store with us. I actually did not know it was possible to spend well over a thousand dollars at Harbor Freight. <laughs> Normally you go in, buy a three dollar screwdriver, a three dollar pack of blue towels and call it good, but we're getting home some way or another. We have duct tape, blue shop towels, and a winch. We're unstoppable. We're gonna pull this video up later. Oh man, would say <laughs> we're unstoppable. It kind of looks like a homeless man with those cars. <laughs> That's what I was just thinking. So the tire rot situation isn't great. Three hours. I'm betting five hours on these ones. No, this is a four hour tire wheel. Well, all of them are like this, but I give the fronts maybe like eight hours. It's gonna give us hope, and then they're both gonna give out at the same time. This one's already bulging. It's getting very close. Oh, oh no! Oh no! My vote is we get that green slime stuff in like a five gallon bucket, just pump it into all of these. <laughs> Looks good to me. About to hand over the most amount of cash I've ever held in my life. Wait, wait, let me make it a little more. It's more than you're even allowed to fly with. <laughs> this is gonna be an entertaining drive home. Oh yeah. I think we might need a few new um, tie rod ends or uh, drag links or whatever. Look how much play there is in the steering wheel. Yeah. We. You know, this is really where the journey begins. From here on out, we're self-supported at a Walmart near Salt Lake City. We know very little about how well it works. Previous owner said he drove it 40 miles in the last year. Now we just have to do 40 miles over and over and over and over again. Yep. We just got sleeping bags. We're gonna sleep in the truck. Yep. We got some TikTok lights and we got the Barbie Dream Camper Edition Polaroid to remember the trip by. So I think we're gonna take a selfie. <laughs> All right, we're just now going to decide where we're where, going. Yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna use Onyx because they're sponsoring this video and because it's a super awesome app and way to find really good off-roading trails anywhere that you are. So. And we'll be able to find some reviews of these trails so that we can know if we'll be able to do it because um, this thing is not exactly a high clearance machine. Well, while our navigators uh, are on well, Onyx, Will and I are gonna set up the TikTok light for yeah. podcasting. <laughs> this is more our style. We don't know nothing about where we're going. <laughs> All the roads out there are gravel. I don't know if there's any like proper trails, but I guess we'll find out. There's an option here to select, you know, what kind of vehicle you're in. You can do, you know, dirt bike, whatever, but there's also a full width four by four. We're not only full width, we're also like quadruple length. So we'll, we'll select that. After digging around on Onyx, we decided to go to St. Anthony Sand Dunes because it was on the way home. We could get there before sunset. There's so many trails in this area that we knew we could do. So we downloaded the maps on the Onyx app and hit the road. What could possibly go wrong? 
we got these heavy duty wipes and uh, that's just after touching. I touched the, the seat. seat. Not even a little rub. So we're getting busy back here. Dude, some of this is not gonna come off. I'd like to introduce you to our first gas stop and the I packed like a moron starter kit. I forgot a toothbrush, toothpaste, deodorant, very important when you're sleeping in the back of a limousine with, with four, dudes. four dirty dudes. You know, if you don't have a shower, the next best thing, wet wipes. Oh, I've actually never even come close to that level of destruction on a tire before. Wow. There's a rest area in a mile. Oh. Let's drive to the rest area. We'll just drive on the shoulder. Yeah. We have to drive like this for a mile. Hey, hold Only one so mile. Close. Hey, we still have way more tires than on normal cars. We have five tires now. Yep. We have one more to go until we're down to normal tires. We made it 57 miles. 57 wow. miles. We That's made like, it more than 40. Yeah. Hey. Like, hey! It's less than 10% of how far we have to go, though, by a lot. Yeah, we're going to have to go Uh-oh. If we'd been smart, we would have bought a spare before we left town, but, you know. Ah. Yes. We figured we have essentially two spares in the back. <laughs> we figured out there's a tire shop like six miles away. I can actually see the town from here. Rather than waste a whole bunch of time swapping tires around and putting one of the rears on the fronts and this one on the rear, all of that nonsense, uh, we'll just drive down the side of the highway for six miles, going really slow, and uh, see if we can't get a couple new tires for the front of this thing. All right. Let's so. do it. We also have the official Idaho travel guide now, so I think we're set. Think we're That's saved, helpful. <laughs> Let's see, maybe there's some restaurants coming up. It's going better than I expected, actually. But with two you in the front on the front, we're in way better position. Because if we lose one of these, we just take we're it really off. just fine, yeah. We just take it off. <laughs> this yeah. is the mullet of limousines. It absolutely is the mullet of limousines. Yeah. There's this up front, party <laughs> in the back. Except you could argue it's like... Party in the middle, business in the back? Because like, it's a bed? <laughs> Looks like we're in business. Yeah, they got two used tires that are uh, they're a little smaller, but. You want the white out on these two? Sure, why not? <laughs> yeah, white walls for life. Thank you. Hell yeah, you bet, dude. Yeah, we appreciate it. Smaller tires on the front than the back. It's even more of a mullet. Hey, that's the first time I really heard the turbo. It sounds really good. Dude, look at the stars. I know, they're beautiful. It's actually very cold. It is extremely cold out here, dude. It's like the Arctic right now. <laughs> it's so cold. Very cold night here in the St. Anthony sand dunes. It is so much bigger than even like an RV. I just really hope the length shows on camera. Hell, it shows. It seems like a premium spot to camp in. Yeah. We got some nice stars. Also, this thing's a beast in six wheel drive. Oh, Holy bananas. I think I'm leaving the truck running tonight. It is cold. It's a very premium I'm temperature out I'm here. I'm shaking. I'm <laughs> not in a jacket. Let's go back yeah. in this thing. I'm climbing in the back with you guys. I can't believe how swindly and warm it is in this thing. Also, why do the lights only work when a door is ajar? That's this the is real question that we have. A big 
part of why we bought this limousine is for the podcast because the audio is great in here. We can pick up people from the airport, podcast while we're on airport runs. It's just a very cool situation. But this is the first time setting up. We have our gear all over the place. It's gonna be a process to set up this podcast, but it is gonna be very cool. So Will's gonna get his first tattoo tonight. Edwin and Will are still passed out in the limo. It's premium. Yeah. Have to wake Edwin up and fly the drone. It's really cool out here. Yeah, it's gorgeous. Honestly, I slept better than the rest of you guys. I have younger joints. I also have had experience living in an STI for a little while. So these seats are like really living, nice. Living with an STI? You had an STI? Living in an STI. Oh, I, I didn't sleep, to be honest, but this is the first time I've been outside since the sun turned on and we are so properly in the middle of nowhere. It's awesome. This is where we wanted to be. This is why we went on Onyx to get ourselves far out by St. Anthony Dunes. Unless I crash into our own car, we should be okay with this flight. <laughs> Premium, look at our shadow. Whoa. I'm flying at like a thousand feet in the air or something. And this is the only plowed road anywhere remotely near us. <laughs> but Does it this, continue to be plowed? Yeah, it continues to be plowed as far as I can see, actually. So I think it's a premium adventure ahead of us. I mean, according to what I was seeing on Onyx, it looks like it goes through back to the highway. I mean, whether it's plowed or not is, you know, is another question. <laughs> seen in a while and it's a deuce and a half and a giant snow plow and they're just looking at us like what the devil is even that why would anyone be out here oh so oh ahead. it's got an extra axle that's, that's not a deuce sick. that's a five ton so the thing that we've slightly been glossing over and why we saw a military vehicle rolling around with sheep hay and lots of things have been acting really weird we saw a giant plow we're in what's known as the USSES, otherwise known as the US Sheep Experimental Station Zone, which covers over 500 miles of this area. So it sounds like a cover up to me, but you don't call your station the experimental zone unless it's like Area 51 level of wax. Uh, yeah, yeah, our roof situation is. This is straight. That, they used so much Bondo on this thing. Unbelievable. You can see the imprints of the tack welds holding it together in the Bondo. I'm calling it a Bondo Frisbee. Hey, Will, go long. No, how heavy is that? It's not heavy, okay. it's Bondo. Yeet! <laughs> you guys are not lying. This roof is very premium. 
Well, we had a blast out here. We've never found this place without Onyx. We explored a few side roads. We took out the drone. We partied on the roof. If you want to try Onyx Off-Road, use the link in our description and use code GHP for 20% off. We don't have service, but we're gonna find our way home really easily because we have the maps offline. So we're gonna keep pushing forward, go get some gasoline, but all the while we're gonna be looking for the next side trail to take because we need to find something a bit more gnarly for the limousine. We should probably get diesel, not gasoline. Oh yeah. I'm thinking. After our roof dance party, there's been some rust loosened up. There's been pieces of rust falling out of uh, the ceiling here. Uh oh, it's encouraging. Found hot springs near the trailhead. Once we're done with this trail, there's a bunch of other trails that we can hit from there if there isn't too much snow. We're just having a grand time up here and you guys got in a solid nap. So. Our, our, our premium used tires on the front, they're a little smaller, so we can only use six wheel drive at very slow speeds when necessary. The rear tires are driving you faster than the front tires are keeping up with. So it also could probably get pretty dangerous because the front tires are getting pushed around. Oh. So like if you let off the throttle or accelerator, like it could just like front could slide out because especially in this weird heavy monstrosity. Oh dear. Like I watch him like Gee! I was trying to get back because I was like, he's coming, he's coming, and then he was like, gotcha. That's crazy. I'm glad these have protectors on the blades. I'm glad he probably didn't get hurt at all. But yeah. I'm trying to see where he grabbed me. Wow, what a cool rock. Limo while it's donutting is insane. All the G force is like. You didn't even lose a bet or anything. This is nope. just on your own. I want the normal fish on my arm. I found a fish and it spoke to me and it's like a fish that you would scoop out of a pond. Like imagine you scoop your hand down and you grab some mud and there's something wriggling in your hand and you put it in a fish tank. Normal fish. That's what it looks like. Well, we got up before sunrise. Come and climb. 
that mountain we were checking out yesterday. I think that mountain is a lot taller than it looks. Well, drone parts. Then I have the other drones. I don't trust your pocket, that's scary. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't in his back pocket. <laughs> this is Will's first adventure, being a tattooed man. Cowboy boots aren't really doing the sun this well. It's a grind hard adventure, bring your climbing shoes. <laughs> Shoes for the wind, dude. I know they grip this We're granite. We're ripping up this like a little salamander. <laughs> salamander. Salamander Willie. Oh, we still have quite a ways to go. Oh, yeah. Around to see what we can find. I spy a happy SIBO. This is my happy place, but this might be as high as I go. That doesn't look cowboy boot approved. Yeah. True. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it looked premium. It was a fun little climb. We're only a few hours from home. Edwin's about to poop his pants, so we're gonna go <laughs> to the bathroom real quick down the road and then uh, and then head home. Notice the light is a fish. It's so sick. <laughs> it matches the carpet. I know, it's so premium. <laughs> that is like the same exact fish. Like, do they have a print for our limousine? That they just I think that is on the limousine. Because that's on everything. Like, if you <laughs> think of a fish, it's like that. It's like that. Those weird little, like, McDonald's colored fish up there, that's what my fish looks like. Really? Yeah. So it's like a dory? No, the McDonald's ones. <laughs> it's like the exactly most normal fish, fish, fish you've ever seen. Is this your normal fish? Like that. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty good then. Yeah. Will's totally okay. He just had uh, some chest pain, so we went to the hospital just to make sure everything was chill. And you're good. And we're good. Yep. The doctor says that I have an excitable heart, so just to, it's best to stay away from caffeine, but uh, we're doing really good. not let us into Australia like this. Really? Oh yeah. Oh, really? They wiped the bottom of your shoes when you get off the plane there. What? I stomped the bottom of my shoes when I got off the plane just so I could leave a little grind part here. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to simulate that we're gonna be stopped at some point? <laughs> oh, uh, did you just say inseminate instead of insinuate? <laughs> I mean, I hope I said insinuate. <laughs> I heard in seven eight. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure that's happening. Hey, it's oh, no. <laughs> oh, this one's pre-opened. Oh, oh no! no. It's been like cut. A Kleenex. <laughs> What'd you say last night, Will? I was cracking up. What? He's like, I'm battle hardened. I'm oh, ready yeah. for <laughs> anything that happens in the next couple oh, days. So yeah, he's like, out. I told my girlfriend I wasn't coming back for a month. <laughs> like, we're good to go. <laughs> <laughs> we can stay out as long as we need oh, to no. get this thing home. We 
filled up with $69 of fuel, which gives us exactly 420 miles to empty. What are the odds? This thing is a mean machine. <laughs> I think I think that's a good luck sign. A sign of good luck. Good travels. To be clear, there's no repercussions for something that happened in a past lifetime. We found something while we were looking at the limo video. What did we find? Will swindling in there. Did you, did you see? Oh, was his phone in his back pocket <laughs> yeah. there? Yeah. Let's see it, Will. Oh. Dude, yesterday was brutal. He was like four times. <laughs> but that happened in a video. <laughs> Where's your phone? Is your phone in your hoodie pocket? Where is my phone? I had it just <laughs> right there, oh. Will. Ed, you got so lucky with that drone crash location. <laughs> Edwin just dropped the drone on top of the mountain and let it fall off. And it went into this little drone cave there. So that was lucky. Because, like, look, at the, the cave is pretty big, but the entrance to it, very small. So if it had gone just a tiny bit, it would have gone... Doo -doo 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 -doo. You haven't seen a bully dynamite, have you seen? I haven't. Oh. Have I. The reason I haven't ever seen it is really stupid, too. Like, the first girl I ever had a crush on told me it was really stupid and I should never see it, and I took that very seriously. And then at some point after that, I realized it was a terrible movie and I never wanted to see it anyway. But, like, ah. it was enough overlap that, like, I was like, no, I won't see it because she told me not to. So we decided to have a dance party on the ceiling to test the structural rigidity <laughs> and splat! Edwin goes through the roof. Edwin's in like the not switch. Let's just take a moment to appreciate where we are too. Like, yeah, I, mean, I mean, where are we actually? 